In this topic, you will learn how to identify the steps on how to perform a successful month-end and year-end within SAGE. At the end of every company physical year, it's very overwhelming and hectic. To produce accurate financial statements, and entering and posting all the entries can lead to stress, anxiety and frustration for your accounting department. In addition to your regular work schedule, doing a month-end process, such as account reconciliation, reporting and period and maintenance. Sage allows month-end processing, where you can do your monthly period ends by moving the current period balances and clearing statistics as well as a year-end process where you have the ability to do maintenance of your physical calendar you then have the ability to clear data reset statistics and delete inactive records and if you wish also database maintenance let's take a closer look at what order and best practices to make your month end and process much easier First, we recommend that you do a backup, whether it be a SQL backup or you can use the database dump utility. It's imperative you follow the suggested order of closing. You can follow a checklist, which you can download from the Sage website, or you can contact your business partner if they have any circumstances prior to closing that they may be aware of. You can also go on to the knowledge base articles that are new regarding to the year-end or month-end. You can access the website for more important closing information or you can go to the knowledge base. Standard communication to your accounting staff or employees that are involved in the closing of month or year-end procedure. They must be informed with all the information that needs to be processed in time. And an understanding of all modules are processed leading to the final general ledger. For example, order entry posts to the inventory control and then inventory control processes directly to the general ledger while order entry processes to the accounts receivable. Let's take a closer look at the flow chart. As you can see in yellow we have order entry, purchase orders and inventory control and the arrows lead up to what transactions are posted to next. So for example, operations as in order entry post directly to inventory control. And then the inventory control module posts directly into the GL subledger services, which leads to the general ledger. The same with purchase orders. It purchase orders, if you do any transactions or period end processing, purchase orders leads directly to the general ledger and accounts payable. There is no link for the PO to order entry. Therefore, purchase orders does not process transactions to order entry. And then from the order entry, if you do any day end processing or any sales orders, this will post directly into AR. And then within AR, you have to post all the transactions in AR that lead to the general ledger. AR transactions do not post back into order entry, as you can see. So these arrows indicate where all the transaction flow is. The next step is to follow a order of year end closing. As you can see, each module is listed and within the list, it shows you what options you have. So let's say, for example, for a year end closing, an order entry, you can clear transactions history and you can clear statistics during its period end process. Once you've done those two options, these are optional, then you can go to purchase orders and you can clear transactions in purchase orders. So this is a checklist that you can follow when you're doing a year-end close and can be downloaded off the Sage website. Before we process a month or year-end, we want to know who's in the system. To know who's in the system, you want to make sure everyone is logged out. So for example, you want to log into Sage and select Help, Current Users. And as you can see, it shows here the users that are logged in and what company they are logged in and what session ID which is a UI interface they have currently open. So you want to make sure everybody is logged out the system before you can do a month or year-end process. 
Do you have to do a month end close? Well, technically, no. But we do recommend that you do a month end. This will allow you to keep cleaner transactions when doing period end. So when you do an inquiry on vendors or customers and you select a period end, you'll get correct statistics. Period end tasks are normally printed reports so that you can review your transactions that need correcting before closing the year. You have the ability to purge data. Purging data allows you to clear away unactive records, clear history, clear posted transactions, and clear your statistics for your vendors and customers. And to close the accounting period and year prepares you for the next period or new physical year. This will conclude the month and year end overview and you should have a good understanding of the steps to successfully do a month end and a year end procedure.